So I am not doing the men's physique class anymore. So I thought I'd share something pretty important to me at the moment. As you might have known, I've just won my first competition of the year, the fitness model class with the UK BFF. So that has now qualified me for the IFBB Diamond Cup in nine weeks time. That's fantastic and I'm absolutely chuffed to bits that I managed to accomplish that um, and I'm even more stoked that I got my invite. So hopefully what I'm gonna do is continue to release videos up until that point so you can see exactly how I prep for that show. But in three weeks time, I'm competing again with the rest of the Team Box squad. Originally, I was gonna be competing in the men's physique class. However, I am pulling out. I am not gonna be competing. Why am I not gonna be competing? Not in men's physique, but in men's classic bodybuilding. So the reason why I chose to pull out of the men's physique class is I realized it just wasn't for me. I had been doing it for the wrong reasons. Bodybuilding is something that I didn't feel like I was ready to compete at yet. I didn't feel like I had earned my right until quite recently, until I realized that actually, for me, the reason why I love competing is the presentation. I love the journey of competing and hopefully I can share with you how I prep for stage. But I just absolutely get really stoked about getting on stage, presenting the best package I possibly can, down to the, my routine, the way I hold my mandatory poses, absolutely everything, finished product, that is what I'm about. So bodybuilding gives me free reign, free license to do whatever I want. So I know I'm gonna compete and I'm probably gonna come dead last, but I really don't care because I'm gonna love every single minute of it. So I'm not competing in men's physique, but I am doing classic bodybuilding. I'm gonna take you through some of my posing and I can talk to you through what those poses are, what I'm trying to look for, and what ultimately I'm trying to bring to stage in the next two weeks. Last minute decision to do the men's classic bodybuilding has, and it has completely opened my eyes in terms of what I want to do as a long term career. I love the fitness model side of things, and I'll continue to compete as a fitness model because that is just suited to me as a person, exactly how my body composition is made up right at the moment. So I'm really still excited about that. But this new venture is going to be absolutely fantastic and a great thrill ride for me. So, two weeks to go. Let's see what I can do for the classics. I'll give you some video voiceover annotation to some of my training, talk about kind of what I'm going through on a week by week basis and share with you the dark gloomy parts of prep but also the highlights and you can see hopefully how easy it is to accomplish your goals. What I'm going to go for today is a pool session. I'm on four days a week training split at the moment so I do a push day, a pool day, a leg day then an upper body day. Um, I'm on my own today. Got my headphones ready. Got the suicide playlist to hit up. Epic film I watched last week. Um, really quite impressed with that actually, yeah. Thought it was funny, it was good. Trying not to get run over here. Four day a week program. Five days a week was starting to get hard to recover from. Feel like I want to put an extra session in, I will. So that's what I'm on today. I've got an eight exercise session of lats, traps, biceps, rhomboids, you know, the usual suspects. We got some spider curls in there, some cable curls. And then as I get close to the competition, I might start throwing in some blood flow restriction training. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna go straight dirty sets. Sets of 10 or 15 will kind of do the job. And that's kind of what I'm gonna hit up, basically. I'm gonna start implementing some different angle of rowing, which will be nice, just to get some different sort of movements, scapular mobility. So I'll do a voiceover and you can check it out. So I like to start off my pull sessions with a little bit of lat pull down. This for me helps me really depress down my shoulders, retract my scapula and just get the area nice and warm. Once I've done that, I kind of moved on to some rows. Now these cable rows, I started off with some bilateral and then onto some isolateral movements just to help me get more range within that rhomboid lat and a little bit of a twist just at that bottom just to make sure I get in that fully shortened range. Great thing about isolateral work is that you can get a really good full stretch and a little bit of a nipple slip and that's always great when we're looking to train. Some good facial expressions and you know you're coming on nice and well. Just a little view from the back there. As you can see I'm just really focusing on pulling everything together and getting those lats in traps as tight as I possibly can. Really nice exercise, first time I've tried that actually with those handles, which I think I'm just gonna continue with. 
Um, and then I'm on to some low to high rows. And again, I use ropes, um, long runs, just so that I can pull them apart further and get more retraction um, in my back mobility. Um, and again, just really helps me get a good pump. Uh, a little bit of a closer shot there just to show off that vascularity. Um, but no, really happy with my condition. It was a really good session. Um, went through... Yeah, a lot of different movements, which I just kind of felt helped me with my training, um, just for that sort of muscle activation, and then I can sort of incorporate that into my posing, which I'm starting to do now. Um, so this was a cable pullover, um, or um, not a pullover, but a cable pull down, and again, just helps hit those lower lats. On to, to a supported row. Um, I don't use the seat on this actually, just because I find it really uncomfortable in the groin area, because I find that digs in. So I find by standing up, I can just press my uh, chest into the pad um, and apply enough force through the pad so I can pull you know, the weight through my back um, and isolate the lats in the traps there. Um, I see a lot of people doing this and they're just using their biceps. So a little cue or a little tip is to try and bring the elbows down, kind of imagine you're trying to pull them into your waist um, or into your pockets rather than trying to sort of tense your bicep and kind of do a weird bicep curl. Um, so yeah, just kind of good back session now. I think we're on to exercise four. Um, I'm going to be moving on shortly to some bicep work. And you can see there I just kind of depress first, retract, and then squeeze through. Uh, biceps, start off with some nice dumbbell work. Um, again, just bilateral. And then what I do is as I start to fatigue, just to get a little bit more volume out, I go into some isolateral um, or like single arm alternating arms just because it gives you that little bit of a rest in between your sets just to squeeze out those few last repetitions without needing to drop the weight or anything um, so I can still maintain a high load which is at the moment a real priority of me is to keep the load up um, yeah again a pretty severe pump on that so that's pretty nice um, again great facial expressions uh, but all in all, pretty pleased with my training, I'm enjoying the new split, um, and my next session I'll be moving on to is a uh, upper body day, um, and then I'm on to legs uh, to finish off the week, which will be nice. Um, and then my favourite bicep exercise, which is the spider curl, so great exercise to maintain the strength curve in tension throughout the entire way. I much prefer that over a preacher. So... What I'm going to do now is move on to some posing um, and kind of talk you through some of the classic poses that I'm going to be doing. So starting off with the front relaxed pose. So these are the mandatory poses. That was the front relaxed and then the side relaxed pose and now this is the back relaxed and then for, finally for the final side. Uh, not really relaxed as you can see I'm posing pretty hard there um, and then I kind of move on back to my front pose which is a front lat spread really focusing on the quads in the legs um, really bringing the torso up into a front double bicep then we're on to some of the side poses um, so this is the side chest side obliques and if you're wondering why I'm moving really fast I've got this on double speed and then side triceps so this is just to really show off the arms the obliques and the abs and then the back shot, um, I need to spread my lats a little bit more on this uh, back double bicep. And then the same again, I need just a little bit more spread on my lat spread um, and really sort of squeeze my glutes forward a little bit more so I've got less of an arch. Um, and then I have to do the other side, so focus on squeezing my legs, my glutes, my hamstrings for the side poses again. Um, not my strongest side um, compared to the other one. Um, and I need to work on my mobility actually a little bit just to help that. And then we are on to the most muscular poses that we had uh, hands on hips, most muscular, abdominals and thighs. That's one of my favorite poses. And then most muscular, again, uh, like the crab. So there's something I need to work on. And then I thought I'd just try and have a little bit of a play with some different angles for some of the more classic style bodybuilding shots that I really enjoy that kind of inspired me with like Frank Zane and that sort of movement. So a few of those little classical poses so anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching and join me next time for another video of how my prep is going.